The main thing, right, is to pin the knee. Knee pin, right? Pin the knee to the mat. We engage our toes. We can go end of lever, shoelaces, middle of knee. We can switch our feet. We can go foot on foot, whatever the case may be. I hip up, try to move. So right, she gets tired, she brings her knee. After watching this video, if you don't understand 99% of what you watched, that's fine. The 1% or the one thing you need to start to try to understand is using your feet like hands. That's it. Back down the mat, I go inside out, I go foot on foot, and I do a knee lever, right? I turn my knees and I turn my upper body. I get her to post. I swing my underhook in, she comes back into me. Right, you have options. You can come into quarter guard, you can go into half guard, you can shrimp out, you can recover guard. Two things. One, when I'm trying to actually pin my opponent's leg, I forgot to mention, it's not just my feet. I'm, at, I'm taking my thighs and I'm squeezing everything. Every muscle from my toes to my, to my butt is squeezing right now, right? To pin my opponent's knee to the mat. I want them to use a crap ton of energy. Most people start to turn their knee outward and they try to like raise their hips. They try to raise their hips and shake, right? Right, right? they do this stuff so they can bring their knee through, mount, blah, 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 blah. We go foot on foot. Our opponent is gonna start shaking and coming up, which means, look, their leg is weightless. So, go down. Let's play this through once. I start going foot on foot, they start shaking and coming up. I pick up their knee, right? I get my leg over and I lock up the figure of four. This is called a foot bind. It's like a cowboy movie with the rope around the feet. From here, if you can get this, this is an easy off balance into an underhook, coming up on top, Habib style, right? It's MMA pressure, but from the bottom position. Stay here, look. I have to put pressure here. Look, I, I have to put pressure, look, look. Now you feel pressure. Now, let's say you're going against Otar, and he's fucking huge, right? And we can't get a foot bind. That's not a problem. So, we do the same concept, right? She starts to come up, her leg is weightless. Instead of going figure of four, we go reverse grapevines, extend out, and now we're playing into a shoulder crunch series, right? If you get an uh, inside position with, with, with a hook, or if you know close guard, right? Now she has to fight the legs again, right? Because the idea is simple. We use our legs like they're our hands. Nice. Our opponent, right, we're keeping them pinned with our feet. We let them shake up, okay. Their weight, see how weightless it is? All her weight is here. From here, I throw my leg over. I lock up the figure of four. You can go on top with your foot. You don't have to touch the foot at all. You can go underneath. I don't care, whatever works for you. From here, right? We bump, we get them to post, we work towards an underhook, we start coming up, and as you notice, it's MMA pressure, but from the bottom. If you liked the video and it provided you even just a little bit of value, please hit the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram or TikTok for daily no BS jujitsu tips.